Hey guys, so now we are doing, would this be count as a podcast? Should I get the microphones? You have the microphones? Open that little drawer, hold up, I pause have, this I bitch. Okay, now we're back with the microphone. I'm not sure if this works yet, so. Tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> tell that story. Yeah. Not even an intro, just tell it. <laughs> no, I already got the intro. You did? Yeah, whenever we did it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Viz's ghost story, and we're going to be telling ghost stories, I guess. Ghost stories. Mm, are you going to? Uh, I'll go after you. Okay. Well, basically, I was sitting in, in my grandma's room at the time. She went to the bathroom. And from the other side of the corner of the bed, I literally felt so like something move. And I'm like, okay, whatever. May, may I mention it was dark in the, in, the in the room. It was dark, all pitch black. Except for the bathroom uh, light. It was like shining through. That's how I saw it, actually, from the bathroom light. The hospital gown and everything. Just, um, so I was sitting on the bed waiting for her to come back, and basically I felt it on the other side of the bed move. And I'm just like, it's just my imagination, so whatever. And then I felt it get closer, and it was right next to me. Like, right next to me. As close as it was, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I go and look, and it's She's do the pose. On, do she, the pose. I'm not doing the pose on camera. <laughs> <laughs> the way you did it, the way you looked at me was so it was terrifying. It is terrifying because who stands on all fours? It just stares at someone. Like oh my. Oh, perfect time for the music too. We're listening to very scary music. Basically, yeah, and just on all fours on the bed, just looking at me like freaking close, like this close. Uh. And. The thing, like, she was in a hospital gown with, like, I think a tube or something on her. That's scary. And her hair was wet. I could not see her face, though. I just saw her wet hair in the hospital gown in the tube. I couldn't see anything else. Violet's here for mental support. <laughs> she's, she's more scared than we are. <laughs> <laughs> she sees the ghosts. So, that happened freaked me out. I literally ran all the way down the hallway. Oh and I gosh. stopped because I noticed that, like, I didn't see anything behind me. So, if it was chasing me, I would have ran. But it wasn't chasing me, so I didn't If care. that was you, I would have ran out of your grandma's <laughs> house. I would have fucking booked it. I'm sorry. Well, it's just, it was crazy. I can't believe I saw that. I even told her about it. And... Mm, it's, mm, it's ridiculous. It's just... I don't know. I don't even know how to react right now. Okay. You ready? You ready? <laughs> I'm gonna put this back away here now. I'm a little bit more closer. Okay. Oh, my keyboard is up there. Mine. <laughs> so, um, this is my ghost story, and it's gonna be from the same house as she was telling hers, her grandma's house. So, pretty much, um, I was walking down the hallway in the back of her, and I saw something shove my shoulder, like, push it hard. And who would you say it was? It might have been Connie, the lady that lived in there before us. It was Connie, the lady that lived in there before them. But yeah. She's usually nice though. She pushed me. <laughs> I don't think she likes me. I don't know if it was her. It could have been the guy or that one chick that I just told you about. Oh, oh my god, if it was her. Now that I'm thinking about it, holy shit. She's an asshole. Because like, Connie is really nice, but she can be an asshole sometimes. I found her hair. Did I tell you about that? I found her hair. Okay, I found her hair on the dryer. Okay. What color is her hair? Like, it was gray. Oh my gosh. Like I had like a handful of hair on the dryer. That's kind of, that's, that's scary. And it's just like, okay, Connie, I know you're here already. Thanks. I knew you were here before you did that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice to know you're trying to communicate. Remember the first time we had a sleepover at mom's house and you were like with me, Billy, and you, and like we were all freaking out because we were ghosts? Like, you literally- You kept hearing stuff. Yeah, and you freaked out so bad that you I pushed heard... the couch in front of the door. I did? Yeah, you, <gasps> you, like, were, like, you were so scared that you pushed, like, you didn't even need our help. This is how this terrified you were. You pushed the couch in front of my door. I don't remember that at all. You, like, shoved it. You were like, fuck this shit. It doesn't matter if I did, because I could still come in if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you did that, but, like, you were- And I kept hearing the handle jiggle on the door. Yeah, and we kept hearing the handle jiggle. And for some reason, no handles were jiggling. Like we all checked all the handles in like the house. We checked the back room too. Too. We went. We did. We went, That's what started it. We checked the back room that we weren't supposed to go in. Yeah. Oh fuck. 
that room. Oh my gosh. It didn't have a door or anything, so it's like, me, why was it triggered that we went in there? Let me tell the story about the back room. Okay, so in my mom's house, there are... How many rooms is it? Four? Probably, yeah. One, two, there's the master bedroom, there's... Yeah, four. Yeah, no, it's three. Sure. No, it's four, okay. So it's four bedrooms. There's the master bedroom, and then on the other side of the house, there's the hallway, and down the hallway, there is... What was what was my bedroom? There was what was my grandpa's bedroom, and then there's what was my brother's bedroom and my sister's bedroom. They shared that bedroom, or like they took turns with it. I don't know how to explain it. I need a burp. Ah, good job. <laughs> so um, what happened is my sister she did black magic in the closet, and what Biff says is that she opened a portal. I did. Yeah, she opened a portal to what was it like a ghost world or something? Or something? Purgatory. Pur pur Purgatory. I'm not gonna say that, but yeah, she opened that portal, and you could tell like once you go into that room, you get like all uneasy and stuff, and it's just like anxiety reducing, and it's just like awful. Like you get this awful feeling, and you just want to leave it like as soon as possible. And the way the room looks now is like there's a cover, like there's a blanket covering the doorway, and then like it's like a junk room now. So yeah, and pretty much what happened that day is we went to that room because we heard something coming from it, huh? Like we were we were hearing noises from that room. So we went to go check it, and then once we opened, like, that blanket that was covering the door room, shit just, like, spoke. Yeah, like, we, like, it just, like, wave hit us with anxiety. Yeah, and, like, <laughs> I swear, opening that blanket let, like, all the ghosts in there that were out. It was, it was... I remember, we were going down the hallway, and in the dining room where the door is, I saw a ghost. My brother said he saw this ghost, too, before. He's, like, a cowboy. He wears, like, a hat, and he's, like, white ghost. He's, like, glowing. He said he had red eyes, right? Yeah, I saw red eyes. My brother said he never saw red eyes on him, though. And, like, he was glowing, and he was just staring at me. And I remember panicking, and I was tapping him, because I guess we were behind him. I'm like, run, run, run. <laughs> Do you remember that day? I remember. Yeah, and I was like, run, run. And we all just ran. And was it, did we jump over the couch? Or was it before you moved the couch? I think it was before. We all ran in there, and we ran my bed, and she's like... And then I remember, I went to the bathroom in my mom's room. I don't know why I didn't go to the other bathroom. I really don't know why. I went to the bathroom in my mom's room. I don't know why. And I remember hearing the... I think one of us was in it. And Lily was Lily in it? In no, because you guys followed me because I was too scared to go by myself. And um, I was in there. And I heard, because it's a closet door like this. It's like one of these mirror closet doors. It's like one of these closet doors, okay? That like, they're slide open. And I was hearing this from the closet door. You guys weren't in there because I was calling Lily and I heard this. And, like, you know how her closet door was, like, all fucked up and stuff? Yeah. I was hearing that, like, loud, like, someone was trying to open it and stuff. And then I was like, Lily? And I was like... I remember I was in the kitchen, and then Lily was by the doorway. Yeah, and I was like, Lily? Viv? Lily? And I just got up real quick, and I saw no one was in there. So I thought you guys left and stuff. So when I was like, were you guys in the bathroom with me? I'm just... And you guys said no and stuff, and I was like, that that's weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, Come on. Hey, baby. Come on, baby. She'll find it to the camera. Yeah. Oh, she don't like to take up. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't find it. <laughs> Baby dog. Say something. Aww. <laughs> okay, what other ghost story? Do you have any more? We don't even think we were done with that one. That was when we started hearing the doorknobs. Oh yeah, so like, we were hearing doorknobs and stuff. Like, this was a whole night of nothing but fucking anxiety. We stayed up until like, freaking 3 in the morning. Yeah, because we were that scared, okay. So, like, what happened was, I'm just putting this on my finger. It's like, we heard doorknobs. Like, we started hearing doorknobs jiggle, like, jiggle that doorknob. Like, <laughs> this is how it sounded. Hold on. Take the mic with you. This is how it sounded. It was like. We were hearing that. <laughs> this is the worst jiggle ever. <laughs> we were hearing yeah. that the whole night. Like, we kept on hearing that. And we heard it all around the house. We, uh, it was all around the house. Like, all the doors were not doing it. And then we got so, like, freaked out, we went to go check out the doorknobs, and none of the doorknobs jiggled like that. None of them sounded like that at all. They didn't jiggle that way. Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh. And one thing that sucks... She's staring at you. <laughs> she looks on guard. She's about to fight me. <laughs> one thing that sucks about that trailer is, in the middle of the night, you'll... Because, like, in the kitchen, you hear, like, creaking every time you walk. Like, every step you take, you hear creaking if you... 
And like every night we would hear that, huh? Like it's a creepy And even noise. when we were in there, nobody was walking by that part. Like we heard them walking down the hallway into the kitchen. Yeah, okay, and here's another story. This is my mom's story actually. Um, whenever my brother was with his friends, she was okay, because no one was in the hallway, I'm assuming. So that hallway, that hallway's fucked up, like you feel that energy once you go into the hallway, huh? Like that anxiety. It gets cold energy. in the hallway. Yeah, the hallway's like, oh my gosh. And like the hallway has so much wrong with it. Like the holes that they've been punched in. Like, there's so much wrong with it. And so like my mom said that she was getting, because the way the ki- the kitchen is, it's the kitchen, then the hallway, then the fridge like is like right there around the corner of the hallway. She said she was in the fridge. And then she looked down the hallway and she said that she saw my brother's shadow. And whenever she was calling it, she's like, Eric, 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 and it did not answer. And then, like, she said a few minutes after she was calling it, the door opened, like, the front door opened, and my brother came in through it. So, like, she turned around, and, like, that thing was gone. That like, ghost was gone. That looked, I was like, oh, my gosh. And then there's, I think there's one more. So this is a demon. I'm going to call it a demon because that is not a ghost because it tried to kill me. I'm not sure if I told you this story, Just call it an entity because that's better. Okay, well... Entity. So I'm not sure if you ever heard this story though. So this might be your first time hearing it. Yeah. Um, there was this shadow because I slept in the first room, but my room, my room was the only room that didn't feel like all scary and stuff. It kind of did though. Um, so I would see because I was laying down. I would look down the hallway, or my room had no bed door or bed door. My <laughs> my bedroom had no door. Good job. <laughs> Dyslexic. Leave me alone. And um, I would look into the hallway because I had no door. <laughs> and I would see the shadow. And I think it was my dad because my dad used to walk up and down the hallways at night. And I would see a shadow walking up the hallway. And then this is what fucking terrified me. I looked and my dad used to, you know how he peeks into the doorway and stuff? Check up on me. I saw something peek into the doorway. like, But it, it, it was like taking the figure of my dad. This one I think was the same one my mom saw. And it like steals our figures and stuff. Oh my god, you better not have that skinwalker. Those bitches wait until you're alone. Oh, hell no. And then they impersonate people that you know, so that they, you'll come to them. No, okay. Because, like, it was peeking through the doorway, and I only saw, like, its face. Like, how my dad peeks through the doorway, and it's like, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. But, like, it didn't talk. I just saw it, and I was like, fuck. And I don't know. throwing something at it. <laughs> no, don't do that, don't do that. I, like, I stayed there for a second, and it did not leave. I was, like, looking at it, and it was dark. So, like, it was, like, you know how, like, you see shadows and, like, darkness? Mm-hmm. Figures? Yeah, it was that. And I only had my TV light on, so, like, yeah. And I don't know why. I just kind of, like, turned around and went back to sleep. I think I had enough of that shit. <laughs> I was, like, too tired for that bullshit. And then the next day, um... We got ne- tons of stories. We got tons of ghost stories. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot. The next day, um, uh, the same thing happened, but this time it went all the way down the hallway. And I saw a walk down the hallway, and the way I was angled is... Oh, like, okay, not really across from the room, but, like, a diagonal away from the room, like, this. You know how, like, my grandpa's room is? Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at it, like, from the right angle to where I could see the little corner of my grandpa's room, and I saw the same figure in there, like, just standing in there. And that was what fucked me up. And then I went to sleep, and I had a dream that I was suffocating, okay? And, like, I woke up, because, like, I couldn't breathe. Like, I was suffocating myself. And I woke up with me holding a pillow over my head. <laughs> That speaks for itself. Yeah. Okay, you want to tell stories? <laughs> there was this one that I was about to tell you like a second ago before we started this video. So, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I was in my grandma's room sleeping, pretty much, and then I woke up, and I don't even know what time it is. I, I was like, I can't even. I was laying really weird. My freaking, I was on my back with my legs folded underneath me, <laughs> and upside down on the top. Pause. Pause. <laughs> so, anyways, back to what we were talking about. Um, I was like laying with my legs folded underneath me. Yeah, like, it was weird. Turtle position. No, like I was on my back, like upside down on the bed, with my legs folded underneath me. Oh. And then there was like lightning or something. Something like there was a bright light shining through the window and on the wall, and I could see like the light on the wall. And then I heard stomping in the living room. Like stomping really hard. And it, then, was it at your mom's or your grandma's? At my grandma's. Oh. It was the man that I t- was telling you about before, before we started the video. So, I heard stomping, and when I was laying, 
on the bed. Like, I, I already knew what it was. I could, like, it was like a sixth sense. Like, I could feel that it was there. And I'm like, okay, come at me then. <laughs> and then I, you hear running down the hallways. Whoa. Like, as hard as it can. Like, you hear running down the hallways. And then I, you could just feel him, like, running across, like, the bed. And then you see the shadow of the guy on the wall. And then I'm like, well, because, like, my immediate thought was, he's going to twist my neck. <laughs> like, that's what I thought. I'm like, he's going to twist my neck. And I'm like, that's okay then, because I'm going to fight him when I die. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, like, because, the, like, there was a train, too. There was, like, a train. And then, like, the train was getting louder when we got closer. So I see him running across the wall. And then I'm like, he's, like, going to stop my neck when he gets to me. So I'm like, okay, I'm ready. And then nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, just like that's what I thought. <laughs> but that one, that one, like I say, the girl freaked me out more than that one because that one just made me feel aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> the girl was scary. The girl, that one scared me so bad, dude. Holy shit! The way that it was just standing, like her hair was dripping, like because it was wet. I couldn't see nothing of her face, but I don't even know if I want to. <laughs> do, okay, do you want to tell the weed boy story the first time we did one? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we'll take turns telling the story. Okay, so so just... like this is the first time we like we made a Ouija board. And it was like the first time we ever played a Ouija board. So like we were in a band trailer and like with my cousin Kyrie. And like okay, cause uh it was like a little what was it? Is it a can opener? No, it was like one of the lids for a can, wasn't it? So yeah, we use like like for the coke cans, the lid for that with like the without the clicky thingy, whatever you use to open it. Like we were using it, and like a bunch of weird stuff started happening. Like it was moving by itself and stuff. And I thought they were all joking at first. Like like we thought that like we were all moving it. Like you know the haha, oh my god, stop moving it. Yeah, you know? we were like joking <laughs> with each other, and we were in an abandoned trailer, and like everything bad happens in trailers. Yeah, you tell you tell the rest. <laughs> I don't even remember like that part. Like, after that, after we're like, oh my god. And then some of us took our hands off of it, and there were, like, only two people on it. Yeah. Oh, I remember. We were, like, joking around. We were talking, like, who is this? And, like, it was a little boy and stuff. Like, I think it was, like, a little boy. And then Kyrie started making fun of it. <laughs> and then I think it got pissed off. And at that moment, whenever Kyrie started making fun of it, we heard, like, doors locking. And we went to go check. Okay, we made sure all the doors were open, because Biff snuck in We the- We all, like, before we even did this, we checked all around the house. We did, like... And then we were like opened all the doors. We went in all of the rooms. Yeah, and I know the door that we checked was open because Viv snuck in through that window. She went in through that door. We made sure that door is open. Then we closed all the doors because we were scared. We closed all of the doors when we started. Yeah, so because we didn't want to be seen. Yeah, and <laughs> I remember like the doors were all unlocked. And then once Kyrie started making fun of that boy, we heard like doors locking. And then we all went to go check the doors, and they were all locked. It's like. Definitely, like, all locked. That was, ugh. And I was like, dude, this door won't open. And then, like, y'all come and check it, and they're like, wait, what? And they're like, this one won't open either. And it's like, oh my god. Oh, uh, that one, ugh. I didn't feel that scared on that one, though. It was, like, more excitement. It, it was excitement. It was like, adrenaline. Oh, yeah, it was, like, a huge adrenaline rush. Like, holy shit. I remember we talked to, I think it was two ghosts that day. And, like, the whole time... We went to two different trailers, huh? Was it the one that was across from my aunt's, and then we went to that one in the next trailer park? Yeah. We stuck into a different trailer park. (laughs) And let's tell the one about after my mom's funeral. Wait, what was that one? Okay, so, after my mom's funeral, we went to my Auntie Sandra's, and we went to her cuckoo room. They call it that because at night they see shadows in it, and they see shadows with babies, like, where they... And they don't let anyone in it, huh? They, They do not allow people in it. And they say um, whenever they, that the kids play in it, that they walk by and they'll see shadows in it. And their house, like, do you get that bad feeling in their house, like, whenever you walk into it? I actually don't. Okay, well, every time I walk into it, I walk down the hallway and I get this bad feeling, like, I'm going to run down this hallway, I'm going to get to where I need to be, and I'm going to hide. Because it's just bad. And you could tell there's, like, bad energy in there because of how much stuff happens with that family. Okay, so, we were playing with the Ouija board after my mom's funeral. Not a good idea, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... We were talking to ghosts. I forgot who we were talking to, but we were just talking to some random ass ghosts. And it was like going really slowly and stuff. And then I called my cousin, my cousin's boyfriend, Emilio. And he came, like, once he came, like, the ghost was like all excited, like, yeah, let's play this game more. It's because, like, whenever they feel like a presence, it's like, oh, 
Oh, they're scared. <laughs> yeah. They and, act up a little more. <laughs> and, like, it was really true. Because at first, Amelia wasn't playing. She was just watching this. And I was like, Amelia, come on, play with this. Then once he put his fingers on it, it, like, really started going. It felt like something was literally dragging the thing that we were using. We That one was, like, all paper, huh? Yeah, so, like, it felt like it was dragging the paper. And Amelia said he didn't felt it. It was even harder to move because it was paper. So, like, yeah. it, we couldn't have moved it ourselves. Yeah. So then Emilio said screw it, and he said that he was going to go play basketball with the kids, and once he left, everything stopped. It just, and it died. Yeah, and at that moment, I knew it followed Emilio, so I was like, okay, I'm going to get Emilio back so we can at least say goodbye. <laughs> and I went to go get him, and I was like, dude, it's not working anymore. He's like, what? I was like, once you left, I think it followed you, and then he's like, what? And I was like, come on, follow. His gonna... face completely dropped, in his, like... It just drained. It yeah. turned white. He's yeah. Like, what? <laughs> and so he came back to the room, and then we did it again. We said goodbye, but then it doesn't stop there because I talked to him recently. I think it's whenever we went to Lubbock, and then he said that after that, like that night, he said he got nightmares of it. And the way he explained it was like it was like a figure with like a slit open face, like the face was cut open. He drew it there me. were way too many mirrors in that room anyway. Yeah, there was like a there shit ton of mirrors. Like there's mirrors facing each other and stuff. We tried to cover them, but there was nothing to cover them with. Yeah. And we couldn't exactly pick them up. They were heavy. Yeah. <laughs> so, it followed Emilio, and I guess, like, that goes through, like, Emilio, I guess. So, like, it... He said to explain it, it looked like he had a slit open face. Like, like the whole face was slit open. And for some reason, I think he drawed it with teeth. Like, it was like a mouth slit open. Like, the whole face, like, right here. Yeah, the way he drew it was weird. It's like, yeah, that's that story. And, like, Emilio was kind of pissed off. So... We screwed up that. Yeah. Basically. He said he got... Okay, this is how you know he was terrified. He's an atheist, okay? <laughs> that already... That's where you already go wrong. He's an atheist. And he felt it, and he dreamt about it, and he believed it. That's what they usually go for, too, atheists. And he said that he was so scared that he went to go get himself blessed at a Catholic church. An atheist was so scared he went to go get himself blessed at a Catholic church. That's how bad it was. Wow. <laughs> okay, you have a story? Let's see. Let's see what this the one where I was like five. I remember this one like yesterday. Because me and my little brother, he was like two or three at the time. I woke up in the middle of the night. And I just see him sitting up on his, like, because we had bunk beds like this. Pretty much. And, uh, he was sitting up and just looking at the closet. And it was like wide open. The closet was wide open, for real. And I'm like, dude, what are you looking at? <laughs> like, what are you looking at? He was little. He didn't talk. And he's staring at the door, like the freaking closet. And I didn't like that closet. Uh, I came down from the bunk bed, and I was all staring in there, and I saw a figure. Oh, hell no. That's, that's scary. The, the, like, uh, the nightlight went off. Okay. Like, it was, like, when I got off the bunk bed, it flickered. That's and terrifying. Then I love I how whenever you talk, that music gets all loud <laughs> and stuff. It's like, really, the the peak of the freaking, whatever it is. <laughs> the climax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I see a figure, and then the fucking light goes out. I go to fix the light, and then I look in the closet, and then it's gone. Oh. And then I hear uh, someone walking down the hallway. Okay, hold on. I want to tell a story. This was this happened in this trailer, okay? It happened like just like probably, I would say a month ago. So it happened after my mom died, and Eric was getting really bad anxiety and stuff. Can you see from that room there? Yeah, he's getting really bad anxiety and stuff. And all of a sudden, like, like you could notice how like depressed he's got since my mom died. But like that day, he was like drained and stuff. Like he was just out of it. He was like really like sad and scared. And then my dad talked to him. And then what Eric was saying that he saw ghosts and like he saw demons in there, and like, he's been having dreams about them. And, like what he said is like they feel bad and stuff. And, like they feel like they're, he's he said he feels like they're draining him and stuff and they're making him depressed and they stuff. They do. It's, they're negative. Yeah, and so like he said a bunch of stuff's happening. I kind of forgot what, and you could tell like he was worried. Like okay, so I went with them that day because we we're gonna go to see a Catholic priest because they wanted to see what was happening to him. Also, I just found out the Catholic priests are kind of fucked up with what they did to him. And uh, we went to Lowe's, I think, to get more bricks from my mom's grave. And we were talking because my dad went walking off. 
And for some reason, I went by him, and I felt that anxiety energy that you get whenever you walk down those scary hallways and stuff. I felt like something was following him. And I asked him, what are we doing exactly? And he's like, we're going to go see a Catholic priest. And I was like, why? And then he's like, because there's something following me. And this time I knew, like, it was kind of concerning for him, because he never says, like, I... Like, you know, he's a soft, he's soft, but, like, you will never hear him say anything, like, like caring about his family. He said this, I do not want it to hurt my family, and I just want it away at this point. So, yeah, and, like, at that point, I knew it's serious. So, then we went to the Catholic priest, and pretty much what they told him was to pray. They didn't even help him. I was like, dude, come on. But, like, has happened since, so, like, I guess we're good. That little saint you gave me that I made, I like, put it all around the house, though, so, yeah. It worked? Yeah. Cool. You want another story? I don't think I have any more. Okay. Well, hmm. You could think about that and I'll tell another story, yeah? Yeah. So this story, I remember, this story was so traumatizing for me. It was at, I think, a baby shower, and it was at a recreation center. They were in, like, the hall where, like, you do parties and stuff, and me, my cousins, I had, let's see, I had three cousins with me. You want to talk right now? No, keep going. Okay, so I was with my three cousins, okay? Oh, this room was moving around differently. The bunk beds were right there, okay? And basically, I told her, because uh, she was at her drawer, and I told her, can you throw the shit bag away from me? And I was not looking, and she said, okay. But she was over here at her drawer, because her drawer used to be right here, and she's like looking through her drawer, and she said, okay, hold up. So I, then I found something, because I had the shit bag hanging off the, the bunk bed, so I should have to grab it, and I found something tug at it. So I thought it was her. So I let go of the chip bag, and then she yells at me, why did you drop the chip bag? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? And then she turn, gets up, like, cause she just crouched down, then she gets up, and I can see that she's right there. And then she's like, you just dropped the chip bag. And she's like, what do you mean? You pulled it. And she's like, I did not pull it. It's like, yeah, the ghost wanted my chip bag. <laughs> how long has this been? Uh, 32. Hold on, alright, I want to show you how it felt. Hold up, hold this shit bag, like, hold it up here. This is how it felt. Like that. Yeah. And then it just fell. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, do you have any more, or do you want to end the video? We should end the video. Like, okay. for part two. <laughs> <laughs> part two! Ne of we, we have a lot more. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. I appreciate there's more to come. Yeah, for sure. It never stops with us. Nope. So, uh, yeah. Come here, Violet. You want to come say bye, too? Come here, Violet. No, she's too tired. Okay, well, uh, bye, like for part two, subscribe, leave a comment, I do not care what you do, say bye, Viv. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, peace. <laughs> bye.